marketplace. Coffee's on. We're back. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Back on the trail of coffee cups you thought you recycled. Gloves on. We want to know if Canada's two biggest coffee chains have cleaned up their act and started recycling coffee cups. Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. Okay, here we go. Tim Hortons and Starbucks promise they recycle your cup when you put them in bins like these. So, three months ago, Marketplace put those claims to the test using tricked out cups. Those cups went in the recycling, but when we returned, we found them in the trash. There it is. It's in the garbage only. After that, Starbucks stores across Canada posted signs like this saying they regret disappointing any customers and will make things right. Did they? You asked us to keep the heat on. So we're going back to the same Toronto stores we checked out last time. Hi, can I please have a medium steep tea? Can I have a tall blonde, please? So if I put this in the blue bin, will it be recycled? Yes. Okay, great, thanks. At Starbucks, once again, we're assured our cup will be recycled. Same at Tim's. We'll return to see where they end up this time. While we wait, at Toronto City Hall, policymakers are also looking for change. When I saw the CBC Marketplace uh, segment, it really did make my blood boil because basically uh, the public's being duped, they're being misled, and that sort of behaviour has to stop. Councillor John Burnside is submitting a motion asking the province to take action. I would like basically an answer as to what uh, enforcement can take place and how it will take place. Thank you. In Ontario, there's a law against making misleading claims, which could include companies saying they're recycling when they're not. So what are the big coffee chains doing now? Okay, hey, here we are. Last time, Tim Hortons threw the cups we recycled in the garbage. It's in the other no. one. Okay, shh. This one. This one. Same thing as last time. It's in a black garbage bag, and it's all garbage here. In the trash. Maybe we'll get different results at this Tim's. If we get in. Oh, damn, why is it all oh, there? Okay. Oh, God, watch this side. Oh, this side is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. In the garbage. So, Tim Hortons, the same thing. In two There's places. There's no change. First two, fail. Better luck at the next one. Ew. Okay. <laughs> nope. And it's clearly labeled yeah. garbage only. Three times. Three times, Phil. Tim Horton says they're proud of their recycling initiatives, but finding our cups in the trash makes us question if they should be. Next stop, Starbucks. It never used to say mixed recycling. Look at these brand new bins. Those are brand new stickers. With mixed recycling labels. No, we're so we're close, here. we're so close. But where's that cup we're tracking? Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay, so this was in mixed, mixed recycling, recycling, which is new, right? I don't know what mixed recycling means, but let's hope it's getting recycled. At the second Starbucks we visit, we find our cup in the mixed recycling as well. More new bins at our third stop, too. Looks like Starbucks is making some changes, but does this mean the cups are actually being recycled? Environmentalist Conrad McCarran thinks Starbucks and Tim Hortons should provide proof they're living up to their green claims. These things should all be independently verified by a third party. I think it's important that both Tim Hortons and Starbucks be held accountable and at least uh, show evidence of independent auditing. So we ask the coffee giants to provide audits, proof their cups are getting recycled. We hear nothing from Tim's. Starbucks says they've done their own internal review, but won't share details. 
So we keep digging. With the help of a local coffee shop, we call Waste Co., the private hauler Tim Hortons and Starbucks pay to pick up their recycling in Toronto. We ask what services they offer, and you won't believe what we hear. Do you recycle coffee cups? No one does. No one? No one. I'll tell you they do, but you, I guess you didn't see the CBC Marketplace thing. The sales rep doesn't know he's talking to Marketplace. Coffee cups will not be recycled. The problem is, is that people say, we will accept this, which is completely different from, we will find a final home. So let's send it right to the landfill. Instead of driving around and wasting resources, pretending it's going to get recycled. No, the coffee cups are just not going to happen. That's the reality, dear. That is real. That is real. <laughs> He doesn't mince words. So we call Waste Coast head office to confirm what we hear. They say the sales rep has it wrong that they do send cups out for recycling. But they won't tell us exactly where, and they refuse to talk about Starbucks and Tim's. While the big coffee companies brew over their next move, in Vancouver, there's an event with a solution to all those cups going to landfill. Thank you. A deposit system. For every used cup turned in, you get a nickel. Every single coffee cup that you use, on average, what do we use it for about 15 minutes? It's going to spend about 500 years in the landfill. After just half a day, they collect more than 30,000 cups. They'll be hauled away. A private company has offered to recycle them. Hmm, if these guys can make it happen, why can't Canada's coffee giants? As for our undercover sleuths, their work is done. Not the case for some Starbucks and Tim Hortons. Should we go get our cameraman? And that's my last story for Marketplace. After 15 years, I've decided to join CBC's Go Public, an investigative news team. It's been an honor to host this show with an incredibly talented team. I'm proud of the changes we've convinced corporations and governments to make on your behalf. Of course, this show wouldn't be the success it is without your support. So thank you, and keep watching.